Hello and welcome to the channel. Either you are a subscriber or just a visitor, I am so so happy you reached us. My name is Roland Costilla, I am the Chief Security Officer or CISO at SAP and I am teaching you data privacy, cybersecurity and career development on this channel. So if you like privacy and cybersecurity, just please 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 hit the subscribe button like this video and do not hesitate to send us comments and feedbacks about what you would want to hear further. So just come for privacy and stay for cyber. If you are interested in a complete transformation path that will teach you not only data privacy, but also how to make privacy operational in a corporate organization, how to run a privacy program with tools and templates, everything that you need for that, how to achieve a higher role in your organization way faster and definitely how to pass EIPP certifications. Please take a look at my academy at www.defradar.com. The link is also in the description of this video below. If you want to have my overall executive resume templates that will teach you how to actually get more interviews faster or any other templates and spreadsheets that we create, just please check also our Etsy store called DevRadar. Uh, all the links are in the description below. That being said, let's jump to today's topic. <laughs> Hi guys, companies today understand that the only way to achieve and maintain success in our data-driven digital world is by having a team of high-end cybersecurity professionals equipped with the latest skills. And the demand is way higher than what the market can offer in terms of great professionals. So let's discuss about hot skills today that everybody is looking for. I will name four important topics that I think are on everybody's list. Cloud security is the hottest, then visibility meaning security monitoring, security analytics, knowing exactly what is happening in your environment, then automation and instant response, cut off the time an analyst needs to discover an incident and use an automation framework to take immediate decisions, and the fourth and last one, people security, based on IAM technologies, just because like I probably said before, the user is and will stay the weakest link in the security chain. Let me shortly dive into these four and I will add two more in the end. While not new, cloud security skills remain at the top of the list for in-demand cybersecurity skills and demand is expected to continue to grow throughout the year. Cloud platforms like Microsoft Azure, Amazon AWS have taken off, creating new security challenges around sensitive business data due to the outsourced need, which is why extensive security measures are necessary to guarantee data is protected on your end when accessing data through these platforms. With this approach, cloud security architect skills are currently one of the top security skills companies are hiring for. Companies want to ensure that not only are cloud service providers like Microsoft and Amazon doing the most to protect the sensitive data stored on their servers, but that the data stored there is inaccessible to hackers as well, which makes developing a secure cloud architecture a top priority for today's businesses that rely on mass stores of data to power their services or products. Visibility defines tools like security information and event management and all the integrations that can come with it. All the systems generate data and proper visibility means taking everything in a single pool, normalize and create important patterns that will bring your eyes closer to what can be an attack. The skills here are in the comprehensive way the system needs to be taught in order to catch something. Yes, it has a lot of rules by default, but nobody can define better than you what an incident workflow looks like and what are the steps that may represent a custom attack if you see them on your network. Automation in incident response relies on playbooks or runbooks 
which are already developed steps that a system can perform to respond to an incident in an automated manner. This may represent cleaning registries, putting a machine in quarantine, uh, blocking user access to resources, generate reports, etc. Individuals who deal with sensitive data regularly need to have an assurance that the information they use is kept safe. Whether working in industries such as healthcare, insurance, banking, higher education, companies need security measures in place that make sense and do not open them up to liabilities. The use of identity and access management of, or IAM technology can guarantee that all confidential information remains safe um, and then you can apply um, policies that, are, that allow to be easily accessible to those who need it. Modern IAM solutions help enforce company policies and ensure compliance with industry-specific external regulations. For example, an employee may have permission to access certain files and documents, like customer information, but that same person does not have permission to access other areas of the system, such as the payroll model. An IAM solution can automatically manage each system user to ensure that only those who have permission to access specific areas are allowed to do so. This is referred to as the principle of least privilege, or POLP, which is a security best practice that limits user access rights to the minimum number necessary for them to perform their work. Financial institutions face a significant risk with security breaches because they must store a lot of personal details on the same system linked to their customer's bank account. The ability to keep your client's information safe can help your company be more successful. Having strict permissions in place is beneficial when it comes to preventing a breach of security. One universal problem for IT at financial institutions, for example, is remaining compliant with the numerous regulations set by the I don't know, FDIC, for example, and the NCUA. When you use an identity and access management system, you largely eliminate that issue. That's because the IAM system helps provide informative data trails and clear permission reports for employees, which are often requested by auditors. This is an excellent time saver for the IT staff when preparing for the next audit. Now, two other important skills to mention to this list are DevSecOps and cryptography or encryption. While still a relatively new term in the field, DevSecOps is catching on for one main reason. It works. For anyone who is new to the phrase, DevSecOps is all about introducing the security elements sooner in the lifecycle of application development to minimize vulnerabilities and have everyone involved become responsible for security. The idea is to automate core security tasks by integrating security processes and controls earlier in the DevOps process. It may not be a clear-cut skill like the others on the list, but cybersecurity professionals with experience in DevSecOps workflows are in top demand from companies looking to adopt this new approach. DevSecOps practices are predicted to be embedded in 80% of rapid development teams. Doing so requires implementing new processes and tools, along with training a team to adopt new mindset about the format of the workflow. Despite these challenges, expect to see DevSecOps skill requirements in security-related job descriptions, and, in, and this will increase in the next few years, and salaries will rise for professionals in this space as a result of increased demand as well. Last, but anything from least, are encryption skills. Similar to cloud security architect skills, encryption skills are crucial if your business utilizes popular cloud platforms. If you do experience a worst-case scenario situation where hackers are attempting to steal or access your sensitive business data and your security team doesn't catch it in time, encryption is your last line of protection since encrypted data is unreadable without an encryption key. Expect demand for encryption skills among cybersecurity professionals to increase even more as companies realize how vulnerable they are to emerging and evolving cyber attacks 
that are becoming more difficult to identify and prevent. As we move further into a future that relies primarily on cybersecurity to protect core business assets, these are the skills that both global and local companies will need to invest in. From initial penetration testing and intrusion detection to implementing this new DevSecOps workflow for enhanced security and prioritizing cloud security and encryption protocols, it's safe to say that cybersecurity talent possessing these hard-to-find skills will remain one of the most sought-after tech talent groups. And salaries for these professionals will continue to rise as the world looks for innovative solutions to remedy widespread cyber attacks that are evolving daily.